Hey YouTube, this is me, Mick, and today in the mail I just received my uh, brand new flip video camera. It's a lot like my old flip video camera, but my old one actually uh, kind of died. This is my old one, and it uh, it no longer works. So I got another one. You can't. You, know, you can kind of see it in the reflection there. I mean, it's, it's the same thing, but I got a new one. So, for my first video on this new camera I got, I'm going to show you my uh, my DVD player setup that I have. I have it hooked up to my external hard drive. It's a really nice setup. Turn on the DVD player here. But, I mean, what it is, is I can, uh, it's a Pioneer Elite and it has the USB on the front and right away I didn't know if the USB could be used for anything or not I have over time acquired uh, quite a bit of movies that I have put on my external hard drive and so one day I was curious it's just a Western Digital 320 gig USB wanted to get the Firewire but none would have it anyway one day I was curious as to what would happen if I plugged it in through the USB and it's actually really cool it surprised me it comes up on the TV as you can do DivX playback through it which is uh... freaking sweet so I'll just show you what it do DVD this remote isn't working okay well anyway I can use the buttons on here um... but it has you can go through DivX playback and then this is actually everything that's inside of my uh, hard drive here I have you know various various uh, movies on here all sorts of them but uh, I mean basically it's it's really cool you can go through and uh, say I wanna watch uh, well, I don't know what I want to watch. Say if I want to go through and watch uh, Elf the Dog, I can just go to it and uh, click on it. It reads the index on it. And I mean, for being like uh, on camera ripped AVI, it should be bad quality. But uh, actually, as you can see, decent quality. I'm not going to play any of the movie for copyright purposes. So get back out of there. And you can fully fast forward and everything here too. Hit stop on that. So and you can resume everything just like a regular DVD player. But anyway, that's the cool DVD setup. Got about 200 movies all together on a couple different hard drives. So it's a good setup. I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun.